All right, now that I'm back from Daytona, have some miles on the underglow kit. I do have to tweak some things, which I'm gonna do in this video. But before I get to the little twist, I'm gonna hit my intro. All right, so first what I'm gonna do is reposition the camera and give you a walk around of where all my LEDs are laid out. The way I did it, I put everything together inside the house as if it was laying on the motorcycle. Just brought the bundle out, started at the Pro Glow controller, and then worked my way through the back up to the front, and then down the front and up the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a walk around real quick, and then I'll get to the twist. Okay, so the key to this is zip ties. Do yourself a favor, go buy more zip ties. So, plug glow controller is underneath the seat. I didn't feel like taking it off, but you start there with a Y connector. Then one side of the Y connector goes down this side, which will be mirror image of this side. The other side of the Y connector starts here. So, you run it through here along this track, all the way down to here and then the LEDs are underneath the bag rail. Comes back up in the here with a five-way splitter from there. So your five-way splitter you're gonna have one of those completely empty nothing on it you'll just cap it. The other four will go to the, uh, that side of the gas tank, this side of the gas tank, the air cleaner, and then the gas tank actually connects up to there. So pretty sure I, I remember right, but your five-way splitter is gonna be up here. It's really a pain in the butt to try to keep it neat and clean. So just take your time, be patient. And what I did was just start it up here, ran it down, put my clip you know unplugged it ran it plugged it in and just worked my way to the front now right here underneath the bottom is an LED underneath the gas tank is an LED which you can kind of see the wires sticking out there it's kind of hard to zip tie it to something to get it out of the way but it's all right uh, one of your lines you got LEDs that go underneath here I actually stuck them on the inside of my uh, air deflectors same on the bottom they're on the bottom which you have to angle like this so this side's lighting up that side this side's lighting up this side so it's really simple for this part if you have the horn it will come off the left side of the tank and drop down and do the horn but I did a horn relocation so I didn't need that one so that little three LED went in my front up here in the fairing. But we're almost to the twist. So I'm gonna reposition and finish up the basic kit and then show you what I did extra. Okay, so here, <laughs> here's one thing I don't really like about it, but there's nothing I can really do about it is when it comes off the tank, you got your wire exposed here to connect to the three LED for the neck. And zip tie that up too, because mine kept coming loose. And off of this piece, you have typically a termination unless you have the caliper LEDs, in which case you would put a Y adapter in to left side, right side. Now, here's where the twist comes in, which I'm gonna reposition the camera and disassemble this and show you the rest. And then we're gonna get into uh, the, mo the modifications that I gotta do to readjust the lights and clean it up a bit. All right, so I got fairing off, windshield off, upper dash off. <clears throat> which we'll go back to the upper dash here in a little bit. 
Now, what I'm gonna do is there's two torques that hold this on. One on the outside and one up here on the inside. So we're just gonna start with number one and I'll show it and then I'll just do the second one on my own and then bring y'all back after it's done. And that's as simple as taking that out. Okay, so when I originally put these in, I put them up too high. I need to push them back that way as far as I can. And my uh, next little object is going to be melting these down and filling in the holes I had to cut to fit these through. So, really simple to take these apart. And I did it thinking, you know, if I jack them up, I'll just get the ones with the doors and try to use what I can there. But I think, well, I had no problems with Daytona wind whistling or anything like that. So it shouldn't be that big of an issue. But. I'm going to pull all this duct tape off, readjust everything, and then I'm going to do a little plastic welding. So Less custom dynamics make some longer ones. I just got to deal with this, which I can, I'll probably end up replacing these anyways, but they need to be as deep down in here as you can, but not too far where it's showing in the front. But I offset it so I can still take it apart if I need to. But that's pretty much where you stick it. <laughs> Just like that, little plastic welding. There's still some hole there. It'll be all right. I just don't want the wires to get damaged. But I'm gonna put this one on, get it wired back up, and then we'll go to the next one. Okay, so your vent, upper deck, just double sticky tapes in these little squares. And I ran the wires right through the sides of the original vent, right there and right here, which they come right through here. Is about the best, see if I can get my hand out of the way, about the best you're gonna get right there, unless they actually make them 
couple inches about three inches longer here so we can slide them down a little bit further and terminate the ends uh, the vent still works see if I can get it to work there we go see vent still works out the way easy peasy I'm gonna get this back together and I'll be right back all right as you can see pretty simple uh, don't make the mistake I did I cut my holes too far back for the air ducts go further out if you decide to do this that way it's closer to the front of the fairing the upper vent unless they go and start making nine LEDs with very short end caps on them and about three inches longer wires we're not going to be able to get the LEDs close enough to the front so you can shut the air duct and the air duct still operational I have the wires ran through there it separates with double sticky tape so have new double sticky tape to put back on it and uh, from the neck I had the wheel pucks already so I had to order a Y for that one but we put a three-way in one branch goes to a Y that goes to the pucks the other split off and I have my arrows going in from the air ducts up and then they go in on each other in the main vent up here that way when chase features active it just chases out and goes all the way down the bike which I'm sure some people have seen the uh, Instagram reel that I'd put up about it so if you hadn't checked that out go check it out but right now I think I'm gonna wait for the Sun to go down come back out and do some chase solid colors and probably the patriotic give you a little bit of different shots I'll give you a shot of this side that side and the front and if you're interested in it you can call custom dynamics talk to Spencer he knows what my order was for this and knows what I used so and I'll also put it down in the description so stick around for the night shots and I guess I'll catch you on the next video coming soon. Peace.